Ready. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. We will begin the Finance Committee meeting for Metro Fire at this time. Please take your seats. I hereby call this meeting to order. It is now the public opportunity to discuss matters of public interest within the committee's scope, including items on or not on the agenda. Madam Clerk, do we have any speaker cards? There are no speakers this evening. All right, thank you very much. Chair will entertain a motion for consent. Um, Madam Chairman, if I could move the consent agenda. I second. Thank you. Okay, th please call the roll, Madam Clerk. Director Clark. Aye. Director Kelly. Aye. And Director Jones. Aye. Motion passes. Thank you very much. Moving to presentation items, we have one listed. Financial report through October 31, 2016. CFO Amanda Thomas, welcome to the podium. There we go. Good evening, directors, Chief Harms, Amanda Thomas, Chief Financial Officer. I'm here this evening to present uh, the district's financial results for the first four months of our fiscal year. So that's the four months ended October 31st, 2016. Um, the information in this presentation is supplemental to the information in your packet. Um, I did want to make note at the start that there was a revision to page eight of your packet. So hopefully you've seen that revision and that will be reflected in my presentation this evening. So to start off, we take a look at the district's cash balance, um, which is presented here on this chart. The red line is, is presenting the results for fiscal year 2016-17, our current fiscal year, so July 1, 2016 through June 30, 2017, um, with the green line representing fiscal year 15-16. Um, and this is showing us total cash balance for all district funds, so not just our general fund, but all funds. And you can see as of October 31st, um, we're in a negative cash, cash position. So our total cash balance is uh, approximately negative $10.5 million, um, which is, um, if, you, if you look at the green line last year, you can see is, is typical for this period of the year, which we tend to refer to as the, the dry period. So this is the period of time where we're essentially borrowing money from the county in anticipation of our first installment of property tax revenues, um, which are, are due in December. We typically see that cash in January. You can see looking at the green line there that, that that's what brings us back up into a, a positive cash position during the year. So right now, being in October, we are in that, that dry period. I also did want to point out, and I think this was probably mentioned um, when the, the last report was done, that our cash position is um, lower than where we were last year. So while we were in negative territory at this point in time last year, we were less negative than we are this year, and that's largely due to the fact that we have uh, prepaid a larger portion of our pension contribution this year. So we've paid that earlier. Uh, we've paid a larger amount earlier in the year, which is affecting our cash position. So this chart is showing our general fund operating reserves. Um, unlike the previous chart, which was showing us total cash for all funds, this is just focusing on the district's general fund. Um, and the way that we're calculating our reserves is we start with our beginning reserve balance, um, which you can see on the table at the bottom was approximately $22.9 million. We add in our revenues received so far this fiscal year, and then we subtract our expenses so far this fiscal year. And that's getting us to um, our, our reserve as of October 31st, 2016, of negative $26.4 uh, million, roughly. You can see this current fiscal year reflected with the, the blue line on the chart um, and the previous fiscal year with the red line. Again, you know, not unlike um, what we saw on the cash chart at this point in time in the year, which is, uh, again, our, our dry period, we, we would expect to be in a negative position in terms of reserves. Um, you can see that that's the case um, and that we are um, we're also more negative than we were last year. That's primarily due um, 
to higher budgeted expenditures for this year and the fact that we're, because we've not yet received our property tax revenue, those aren't being offset by higher property tax revenues this year compared to last year. Um, but we would expect as those revenues come in, you know, the, the two lines to converge. Um, however, we have budgeted for the use of $2 million of reserves in this year's budget. Um, you can see our projected ending reserve balance, um, both in the, the table below, um, which is $20.9 million, um, as well as shown by that yellow dashed line on the chart. That's where we would expect to end this current fiscal year based on our budget, which is approximately $2 million less than where we started the fiscal year or ended last fiscal year. Uh, turning now to look at revenues, this chart is showing our medic cost recovery revenues. Um, and again, just to orient you to the chart, the blue line is giving us the budgeted number. So we're budgeting for total revenues of this category for this fiscal year of $34 million. The green line shows last fiscal year, and then that red line is showing where we are so far um, in terms of actuals for this fiscal year. So we're at about $10.4 million, and that is based on the actual cash received. So that's, that's what we've actually received um, July through October. Um, and, and that, as you can see by the chart, is lower than where we would have expected to be based on budget um, and lower than where we were last fiscal year. There are two reasons that are, are contributing to that at this point. Um, the first is a timing issue with regard to um, essentially a delay in payment processing by some of the private insurers. So the numbers that we're reflecting here are actual amounts that we've received, not amounts that have been billed or, or owed or that we would expect to collect, but what we've actually received. So because there's been that delay, um, we would expect that to correct itself as we move through the fiscal year. Um, the other impact that we've seen is just an overall reduction in the number of billed transports. Um, that's also something that we would expect to improve um, as we move through the fiscal year, in part because, um, as you know, the board approved in October um, an amendment to our surge protection agreement with AMR, which will result in us billing for additional AMR units in our system. So we would see those revenues translate into an increase in, in this revenue category. And that, that's going to be, that was effective December 1st. So as we move forward through the year, we should see a positive impact as a result of that. But this is definitely a revenue category that you know we will continue to you know obviously pay close attention to, um, and 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 if need be make any necessary adjustments at mid year. This chart is showing us uh, total revenues, so including medic cost recovery revenues, which which at um, ten point. $4 million represent the majority of the, the almost $14 million in revenues that we have received so far this fiscal year. Um, you can see, as, as was discussed in some of the previous charts, we would expect to receive um, our property tax revenues um, in, the, in the December time frame. We would recognize those revenues. Um, so you can see that, that our, our budget is for an increase in that time frame. Um, and then again, um, in the, the uh, April time frame. Um, so in total, we're budgeting for $184.8 million in revenues, and, and we've collected approximately $14 million in total through October. Uh, turning to look at expenses, this chart shows salaries and benefits expenses, um, and you can see at actual expenses of about $51 million through October, we're essentially on track um, with our budget, um, which is for a total of $154.8 million um, for the year. Looking at total expenditures, you can see that, that that $51 million of salaries and benefits represents the majority of the, the total expenditures so far this year of about $63 million. Um, and you can also see that overall total expenditures are tracking slightly below the budget. If you, if you compare that red line to the blue line, um, that largely has to do with some of the timing of our non-labor expenditures. Um, we would expect to e that to even out throughout the year and right now are anticipating um, an overall expenditure based on budget of $186.8 million. And this last chart um, shows the amount that the district has set aside to fund uh, retiree medical 
benefits. Um, these funds are invested in a trust which is completely separate from district held funds and is managed by SERP. So these numbers aren't reflected in any of the other charts that you've seen, but this is showing us um, the current balance in that trust. So as of October 31st, 2016, the trust had um, a balance of $21.8 million approximately, which was made up of contributions over the life of the fund um, of $20.4 million and then investment earnings over the life of uh, $1.4 million. So just to summarize um, the results for the first four months of the fiscal year, our revenues are tracking, um, as I mentioned, below the budget, um, and this is really largely due to those medic cost recovery cash receipts um, trending lower, um, and a lot of that the result of some timing issues. So as I said, we will continue to monitor it and do expect to see some improvement over the remainder of the year. Um, on the expense side, our salaries and benefits are essentially on budget um, with our other costs um, below budget, again, really due to, to timing, the timing of expenditures during the year. And then finally, our, our negative cash balance and reserves really reflect that dry period borrowing from the county, um, which is in, a, in anticipation of our current year property tax revenues um, and is typical for us at this time in the fiscal year. And that concludes my presentation, but I'd ha be happy to take any questions you might have. Any of my fellow directors have any questions or comments? I, I, I have I, have, I, have mm -hmm. no, you, I don't have any questions. Okay. Negative? All right. Uh, well, CFO Thomas, thank you very, very much for that. Um, we will continue to track and uh, see how those lines converge, hopefully in the best way possible. All right, thank you for your presentation, ma'am. Thank you. All right, our next meeting date is Thursday, January 26, 2017. First time I got to holler 2017 out. So uh, with that, this meeting is adjourned. All right. Fine job. Oh, thank Good you, sir. Job, thank you, sir. Thank you.